Do you remember playing Super Mario? There is a kind of platform that allows you to jump from below but not from above. Wonder how to do it in Game Builder Garage? You are in luck. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a semi-solid platform with just 5 nodons. And I will show some alternatives as well as bugs that I have discovered. Okay, let's see what are those 5 nodons. The first one is a visible non-solid box. This is going to be our platform that we can see, but we can also jump from below. So I'm going to object, simple object and then box. Resize it to be the size that you want. And if you have any textures, attach those to this box. In the properties, remove everything. Close it. Okay, so now there is this person. But the problem is that now I cannot stand on the platform, right? Okay, so we are going to add something solid so that our person can stand on. And that thing is launch nodon. I'm going to object, launch, launch object, launch one object, we only need one platform. I have to go to the settings and change the shape to be box. For the properties, let's keep it as visible for now so that we can know what's going on. And it should be solid because we want our person to stand on it, right? Not movable because the box should be stationary. And for the destructible, it should only be destroyed by destroy object. Remove destructive as well. Close it. And then we have to resize this to match the size of the box. Let's test. Yeah, so now you can see a solid platform, right? This one is created by the launch nodon. But the problem is that we need to destroy this when we are jumping from below so that he can jump from below. And that's where we need a destroy object to destroy the solid platform. And it will destroy the platform when a person is jumping from below. Okay, let's add it. Objects. Launch destroy object. Destroy object. Go to properties. Make sure that it is not visible. And destroy what? It should have box. But when should we destroy the box? So basically we should destroy when the person is below, right? and when the person has not reached the top of the platform. So I'm going to add a touch sensor. I go to the settings and check the person. Close it. And I have to resize this to have the same width as the platform. And I have to make sure that the top part of the touch sensor overlap with the top part of the platform. And then, when a person is at this area, we have to destroy the box. So right now, we have destroyed the solid box when a person is below the platform, but we have to recreate the box as well. When a person is, like we say, at the left or falling down from above, so I'm going to add, if this area is not touched by a person, I will recreate a solid platform. So I'm going to meet the logic not. And when a person is not touching this, I will relaunch the object. Okay, let's test. So now when I'm jumping from the side, so I can jump up from here. But if my jump is too low, yeah, I will hit the solid platform. Can I jump from below? Yes, because the box will get destroyed. Yeah, lastly, don't forget to make this invisible. And also make the touch sensor invisible as well. Yeah, and this is the final product with just 5 nodons only. And what are the other alternatives? Here, I'm showing like 4 nodon moving platform. And the free slider will move the solid platform back and forth. Let's see this in action in the bird's eye view. See, like when a person is below the platform, I will move the platform away. And then this person can jump up. But because we have this moving platform, sometimes the person can shift along the axis. Another thing that I have tried is to put the touch sensor on top. For this one, there is a bug which is a person can jump 
from the site. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining in the quiz. It has been fun to read all the alternatives. Hope you enjoy cracking the code. Lastly, please like, share, and subscribe. More quizzes are coming soon. Bye bye, and see you next time.